All right, everyone, this is uh, Francis Davis, everyone we've been uh, waiting for. And, uh, <laughs> you know, oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> you know, we're actually about to go get some breakfast right now. Um, uh, when he came in last night, it was actually late. So uh, we basically just want to get what he called a quick dinner. And uh, and it was also raining, so we could, m not much you can actually do, right? So basically, we're uh, just going to go hang out today and uh, meet some friends and talk about Vietnam and the expat life here in Vietnam. I might like them, whatever else, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. Yeah, Skip is gonna like that too. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is. <laughs> yeah, so we just like taking a walk, a stroll through the neighborhood. We're gonna walk to uh, uh, Hello Cafe, which is my friend's coffee shop. And I, you know, I actually do a lot of my work there as well. Um, it's a pretty cool place to, 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 to relax and work as an open out uh, coffee shop. When I say open out, meaning that it's a, um, <laughs> Um, um, it's a very open environment, you know, very inviting and very friendly, and you'll see the reason why. Um, so, how do you like uh, Vietnam so far? So far, great place. Great Second place. Second time here, but it only gets better. Yeah, it's it's, it it's definitely better better. it's definitely an awesome place. Um, I've been here for uh, living fully for a year now, and I can't say anything bad about it. I mean. Aside for it gets really hot at times. Yeah, and rainy. <laughs> and rainy, because now we're in, uh, in Da Nang, we're actually going this way. We're in Da Nang and it's uh, winter down here in Da Nang. It's kind of like winter. Are you serious? What is this, Game of Thrones? Is that, yeah, winter is coming, winter is coming, right? <laughs> but, uh, so I kind of started joking about it. Ciao, go! Go, what's on? Hi, It's my next one, but she's, the, she's like to the dispenser here. From America, Xin Xin, Xin you know, um, yeah, you know. So, <laughs> all right, so, all right, yeah. So, um, we, uh, 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 she like to dispense. She disp dispense all the cans and boxes and all that stuff here because um, all the local neighborhood. That's the what they do. They kind of go and they they bring all of their um, trash to her, like mm -hmm. bottles and cans. She wraps it up, and then a big truck comes and um, comes and, uh, and and take it away. And she gets paid. I think she actually gets paid. She pays the uh, the residents, but I don't, I don't care because I, I don't I don't need the extra you know five bucks or whatever it is. So basically, I just give her give all my money. You can. You know. So yeah, um, we're actually in the Einhan back uh, 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 um, district here in Suncha. Uh, uh, Sun, Sun Cha, Sun Cha district, which is the district I live in. And um, love it here in Sun Cha. Um, not very much expats over here. Ciao! <laughs> you know, not very much expats over here. Very few, which is what I like. You know, which is what I like. You know, and, uh, and um, it's very, uh, very inviting.
Uh, keep walking, should be down there somewhere. Seventy thousand. You're looking at actually this price right here. Seventy uh, thousand is about like three dollars and fifty cents. Just about. Yep. Just not much. A hundred thousand is about what? Four bucks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the hunt for moisturizer. We're trying to find fish and moisturizer. Uh, that's kind of funny. We've been to like a couple of stores already. Well, um, the first Vin Mac. I'm Vin pretty close. I'm pretty close to giving Ramos? What's Ramos? Ramos. Let's Memphis Google. Ramos. Let's Google that first. And then, if you, if you gotta go with baby moisturizer, I'll say go. Oh, with I don't it. care, yeah. Oh, wait, here we go. What? Face and body lotion. Here we go. Oh. You missed it. There we go, right here. Oh, Face and body beautiful. lotion. Excuse me. Uh, we got some baby lotion. Baby powder. Baby powder. Oh, this stuff's too big. Baby shampoo. See, this is like oh daily lotion. Daily. Well, buy oh. the big bottle, get the small lotion. I'm trying to want to go with. This is You might have to. You might have to. <laughs> Ooh, all right, hold on. It's coming. This is getting exciting, eh? <laughs> We finally found moisturizer, but now we gotta buy a big bottle when we need a small bottle. What's that right down there? What's that? What's that? This? Yeah, what, what is shampoo. that? Shampoo. That's all. Shampoo. Shampoo, shampoo, bath, bath, bath. This is exactly the set of. Oh, we have baby oil here. Baby oil? I don't want baby oil. Baby powder. No. Bath. Now, this is exciting. You want some right? baby shampoo with natural calamity? Uh, I don't care. You're about to get some, yeah. <laughs> baby. That was as long as I know that white thing wrapping around, yeah, you okay, got it. Good. Don't buy stuff in Asia that says whitening is bad for your skin. It's something that we are trying to get across to the society here is that stuff, anything that says whitening in it causes cancer. You best believe. But until that fact get across to the people of Southeast Asia, there's not much we could do about it. I'm not here to change the culture and their understanding towards um, skin whitening stuff. So let's remember, if you're an expat coming to Southeast Asia, you're going to come across a lot of products that have whitening in it. So knowledge-wise, I think pretty sure you know, don't buy stuff that says whitening in it. It breaks down, if you really want to know, it breaks down the melanin in your, in your skin and it makes you more exposed to, um, to sunlight, which is not good. You'll think everyone has this uh, information, but no. Uh, it might be on the other side. What do you mean? I might have to go that way. I see household. Yeah. Francis Davis is shopping in Vietnam. <laughs> looking for Vincom. Looking for batteries. Certainly in Well, batteries or batteries. Actually, it's called um, Ping. Battery in uh, Vietnamese is Ping. Uh, ping, Ping, Ping. All right, here we go. Households or maybe uh, electronics. Uh, let me see, uh, M, uh, uh, pin, pin, yeah. A little bit of it means go a long way, my friend. Yes, <laughs> okay. Yes, as noted, a little bit of Vietnamese goes a long way. So if you are 
ex if you're a foreigner again traveling to Vietnam, traveling to any foreign <coughs> country, I would say uh, learn the language, learn at least a little bit of the language so you can actually have an understanding and of what's going on around you. Uh, uh, because not all the time Google Translate will give you the right information or right saying so you have to at least get some basis in, uh, in, in, in the local language so it doesn't matter what country you go to at least take, a, take some time a month or two or maybe six months before you leave to take a class because for me before I left America to come to Vietnam the first I mean the last six months prior to coming to Vietnam I actually took uh, some Vietnamese classes I'm not one of these shopping carts. Alright, this is me. Hello, this is me. This is me. Oh, is there any chance I can just this? Like, just that? Is yeah, there? this is a Vincom uh, app card. So if you want to get, a, instead of having a card, you can use the app and just use the card. To, uh, they'll scan your phone instead of scanning the card. Is it possible? Just this? No, it's not possible. Well, let me just ask you. Just this, <laughs> no this. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no. that's what I thought. Okay, that's no. fine. That's okay. It's worth a try. Is it worth asking? Yeah. Right. And then this, and then this is separate. What's the license plate? Toyota. 43A? Yeah, 43A. Yeah, yeah nice. When I first came here, I was like, well, you know, it's kind of like, you know, in, in Western culture, we don't really do that. We just kind of like, uh, you know, we kind of like more ourselves. But like someone said, well, that's kind of selfish, isn't it? And they were like, oh, wow, that is kind of true. You know, we're kind of being selfish, even though we're, because we think, well, because we're younger, we're like, you know, we know it all, but we don't. And the older, the older generations, the ones that have been there, done that, seen that. And so they could teach us more about, so that's how the Vietnamese culture is more about family culture and respect of our elders. And that's one thing I like about it, is that that's that cultural perspective. I'm here to be part of the community. And a lot of people come with it with the anticipation of, well, the Vietnamese government is like this, this, that, and the other, right? That's because of what they hear. Well, if you're coming in to be political, that's your business. I'm here to be part of the community, to be part of the, uh, of, of, uh, and grow and learn uh, 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 physically and mentally. Uh, so I'm not here to change the government. So I'm here basically to just enjoy and, and be part of life. Okay, because uh, uh, um, there's a lot of things that just need to happen, you know. So for me, coming here was like a, uh, like I said, eye opener, bringing some of my culture, but also adopting a lot of their culture. Because if you if you were here in uh, in, in in Vietnam, what are you gonna do? You know, I mean, you, are you gonna stay inside? No. So basically, you go out and you you, you adapt part, you become part of the culture. So that's how. I'm, I'm bringing not just myself, I'm bringing some change in terms of who I am as a person, a person of African descent, one, to a person of, of Western, Western, Western culture, three, a person that's open-minded enough to adapt, me being part of the community, you know, um, um, and that's what I love about it, is it's really touching bases with everyone, even if they barely speak English, I mean, let me put it like this, this right here, I created that in the Vietnamese community. All that's big in America. I didn't create it in America, but I come here to the Vietnamese community. I'm like, yo, and they're like, so now when people see me, they're like, yo. <laughs> it's like literally, as soon as they see me, like, yo. <laughs> you know, so it's 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 really cool. You know, and and, and I love that, you know, and, and so because at first a lot of people was like, what is this? And they're like, I'm like, no, it's like, you know, it's like Hey, hi, hey, what's up? How you doing? It's like a you know brotherly thing or you know loving thing, you know showing you know love for each other. And it, you know, so now everyone is kind of like, soon as see me at a gym or wherever I go, they know me. They literally walk up to me like, yo, or yo, hey, what's up? You know, and that's it. You know, so it's 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 bring a little bit of my culture here, a little bit of the, the American kind of like you know cool hip hop culture, cool culture, whatever you want to call it, and just kind of be part of the beat yourself. Yeah. What are some like little things that you do or experience every day that's like very much like Vietnamese that you? <laughs> what are some things? Uh, I'll say uh, 
Eating something, okay, very Vietnamese. Eating lunch for, for, for breakfast. Uh -huh. That's like very Vietnamese. Uh, they have like a uh, uh, kum da. You know, uh, kum da is basically uh, uh, chicken rice or you know, uh, kum chi or something like that, or pho, which is, which is uh, basically uh, soup. I am not used to having soup in the morning or, 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 or food in the morning, but at first I feel very heavy. Like my, it's kind of heavy for the morning, isn't it? It's not breakfast. I mean, I need bacon and eggs, and I need, a, I need, I need a sandwich or something. You know what I mean? But I know, uh, 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 that's this part that's very Vietnamese. Uh, 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 ban sel, you know, ban sel is, is another thing. It's like it's, it's a Vietnamese pancake. You know, um, oh, yeah. um, um, another thing to feel what's very Vietnamese <coughs> is. A relax, it's very relaxed. Oh, coffee culture. It's a big coffee culture, very relaxing, very chill. You know, have a cup of coffee in the morning before you start the entire day. You know, it's getting ready to go. It's going up to Hoi An. You know, it's going to be like an hour trip. 15 miles. 15 Ooh. miles up to Hoi An. You know, we had it was a great day. We actually, you know, got I to. got a lot done. Got, so got a lot done. Had some, had, had a, what, um, breakfast, dinner. Well, not yeah, lunch. Lunch. Lunch, and uh, he's gonna be having dinner in Hoi An, so that's gonna be a, a pretty stoked thing. A hamburger, if, if possible. Probably a hamburger. <laughs> um, well, the friend I'm saying with owns yeah. a hamburger restaurant, so right. You know, kind of goes with that saying. You know? This is the 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 vehicle that this the, is the, mode, the mode of transportation in Vietnam we call bicycle se dap. So uh, se, you know, is vehicle, and dap is bike. Hmm. So say that, or you know, bi uh, motorbike is say uh, 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 say my, you know, and uh, car is uh, say auto, say auto. So a little bit of my Vietnamese, like I said, a little bit of Vietnamese can go a long way. So the message we need to bring to the world is um, how much life we how much life we live, not how much money we make. It's it's more about um, your health than your wealth. You know, so, you know, more about your health and your wealth, you know, uh, because in the end, if you try to make all that money just because, you know, uh, uh, that's what life is, that's what they say life is supposed to be, we basically end up spending all that money to regain our health and then we end up dying anyway. So, you know, you, you, made, you made a million or two dollars and you spend a million or two dollars trying to regain your health because you're like sickly and you need all this attention. So you spend it all trying to gain your health back. You know, so so yeah, so it's all it's about, about it's about your health, not your wealth, and it's about what we do and it's about our perspective in life. Absolute pleasure. Yes, sir. Nice meeting you. Good to meet it was you. Fun. Too. Me get have a safe trip to Hoi An. Yeah, thank you. I better I better not have an accident. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't 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 call any negativity on this. Oh, no accidents. I'm just saying that would be like the the, the, the 15 mile ride. <laughs> All right, all right, good man. Let me know when you get there. You can text me. Let me know when you get there. All right, peace out. And there you go.